Hi guys, welcome to Short No Life. So in today's video, Madam Glam just released a new collection called Red, White, and Glamorous. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. It is five colors, two glitters, and no, I'm sorry, three glitters and two solid colors. So if you don't know what kind of brand Madam Glam is, they are a vegan company. They're cruelty free. They have a 21 free formula. They're palm oil free and they're hemma free. So if you have like allergies or sensitive skins, this is a great brand to use. The first color up is called Bold White. This to me has like a little bit of a hint of blue, but I will be honest and say this is now my favorite white from Madame Glam. I love the consistency. It's super thick, easy for me to draw with. I love this. And I noticed that they changed their brushes to the round brushes, which I really love. I've been waiting for gel polish companies to incorporate that. It's just so much easier painting with those brushes. Next up is called Bright Blue. I can't remember if this has like a foil base or anything but it is a beautiful glittery blue perfect just to add a pop of color on your nail next up is called glam parade this is a silver holographic color i believe this one does have foil in it it is super impactful very pigmented i really like it and then next up is called celebration and this has like blue white and red confetti like I said, perfect for 4th of July coming up. And then last up is this red. I really like this red. In my opinion, I feel like it could be a little bit vampy, but also very bright, maybe like a candy apple red. It's just pretty, <laughs> it is just beautiful. So if you wanna pick up any of these colors, I will have a link down in the description box down below where you can introduce my code that I'll pop up right here that can save you 35% off when you check out. And if you don't want to be a VIP member when you go on the website, just hit pay as you go. And of course, introduce this code at checkout and it can save you 35% off. But let's just start the video. So first off, I did prep these nails already, but I'm going to do one coat of Autumn Aurora. Aura. I told you guys already, I don't know why I can't pronounce that word, but it is so hard for me to say. But yeah, I love this new combo that I do. So next up, I'm using XOXO on top, just a small, thin coverage. I do want to apologize if the audio sounds horrible. I had my mic plugged in and then it sounded horrible. So I just started talking directly into my tablet, which is what I record on. And it still kind of sounds bad. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to fix it, but probably next week is going to be the closest I can do. But yeah, I'm just putting a thin coat of this XOXO on top. I do this because XOXO is a little bit transparent and that Autumn Aura, Aura is a little bit more pigmented, if that makes sense. So I want to do an ombre on one of the nails. I do have inspiration picks, that, which I'll pop up here. These are the two photos that I'm getting my inspiration from. So what I just showed you that is I did dab most of that polish off on my palette that's to the side of me. I didn't want that much glitter on there. And like I said, this glitter is pigmented. I don't think pigmented is the right word, but I cannot think of the correct word, but it is packed in there. I love how thick the polish is. So I did want to thin it out a little bit. So I did dab a little bit on my palette. So now I'm just going in and I'm matting all of the nails because I want to draw on top. If you recreate this, you do not have to mat the nails out. So my main color today will be Legacy. So I just put Legacy on my palette and I just start drawing my red in. So if you saw earlier, I did point at, this is my pointer and my pinky nail. I didn't record myself doing the pinky because I'm literally doing the same thing as this nail. So you just wanna see it done in a few minutes and I'll kinda explain what I did. And I do wanna also mention, I did one coat. <laughs> I just realized I only did one coat of this red. So that's how pigmented this polish is. I honestly forgot that I couldn't do a second coat. So here is the pinky and the pointer side by side. And I tell you guys, I do this all the time. My pointer and my pinky are always opposite sides or facing opposite sides. I hope you can see what I mean with that visual. It just I like it. Um, I used to watch Robin Moses and she said it kind of helps you begin and end your set if that makes sense. So that's kind of what I do. So right now I'm just putting random triangles on this nail. 
like I already showed you the inspiration pick and I'm trying my best to replicate it but on a shorter scale it's kind of difficult sometimes but I didn't want to overcrowd the nail especially since these are short but I really wish I could replicate it a little bit closer to the photos because I really love those designs but I also love what I did as well so I am taking that bold white and I am drawing some white on the nails and that's why I also said earlier this is my new favorite white because it's pigmented I got everything done with one coat I really like it and it looks white <laughs> every though I did say it has like a blue base it's white I have no issues with it So with this design, I kind of just went with that abstract thought. I didn't really think too much where my triangles or my shapes would go. I kind of just put them on the nail. And like while I'm watching it back, I can see some things that I would change. And it's really just one thing and I'll point it out to you when we get to that part. So now I'm just gonna do perfect black. What I end up doing with this nail is I end up just outlining most of this nail which like I said I don't really have a plan but I just felt like it would be so pretty to outline most of the shapes and then have this one black line open well triangle open on one side I thought that was pretty so that's what I chose to do I will be honest and say I don't really clean up my nails a lot which I need to get better about cleaning up my nails so what I mostly just do is I'll put it on the nail and then if it's a little thick I just make the line a little bit thicker to match but sometimes I do need to go in and clean up so this right here this black triangle this is what I felt like I should have changed I should have did that triangle open and not filled it in with black I feel like that would have popped so much more and it would have been so pretty so I did go ahead and I cured this nail before I did add this red so something I want to quickly mention just in case you saw that nail bubbling a few minutes ago um, my nail lamp is old I've been having issues with not just this polish today but polish from the past my nail lamp is old it needs to be replaced so it did not cure the bottom of the nail which I had to buff off and then reapply that white just in case you saw and you're curious my nail lamp is old it's really not the polish's fault because this is not the only brand it does it to I just need to go ahead and replace my lamp <laughs> I just don't want to you guys kind of know it's when you do just your own nail sometimes you just don't want to replace everything but it's time so i did decide just to bling up these two nails just to give it a little bit more pop and i added some caviar beads off camera so i'm going to mat out three of the nails and i am going to shiny top coat the nail with the sparkle on it i just i thought the sparkle would pop a lot more if it wasn't matte and i really want you to see the sparkle from that glitter so i did shiny top coat it i know sometimes it's kind of weird when you do that but I really liked the having one shiny top, shiny nail as well. It's just, it's different and it's fun. But this is me just no wipe top coating this nail. No wipe shiny top coating this nail. And these are the nails together. I did file the free edge. Can anyone see that for some reason that middle nail is always the shortest nail? I don't know. These are press-ons. I don't get why that nail is the shortest. But it still came out really cute. These are the nails in the sun and they are just so pretty. I really, really like them. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. I love them. But thank you guys for joining me. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I make new videos twice a week. I want you guys to have an amazing day. Bye.